not to pull you kind of sucks. No. <laughs> That's such a mood. People looking at the camera and going, oh. I want to make a compilation at some point of going, oh, it's Friday. <clears throat> cool. Have fun with it. Good morning, camera. It's Friday. That makes it film my life Friday. The Friday in which I film my life. And it is the earliest I have been up in probably um, two weeks. It's 9.30. Yeah. I know what I said, son. I don't think I feel like I've been in high school or anything. I don't feel sympathy for you. I put in my time. You know? And now you're putting in yours. So perish. Um, we are currently headed to get lunch with my aunt and- No, not lunch. I'm actually up early enough for breakfast. We're currently headed to get breakfast at KW with my lunching. God, I'm tired. We're currently trying to get breakfast with my aunt and cousin. Why is that so hard? Uh, here we go. So one of the reasons I always cited for dyeing my hair is that when a redheaded kid walks into KNW, it takes 0.3 seconds for every older southern woman's eyes to go completely black as she zeroes in in your hair and is like, I could never dye it. And I'm not saying it took two seconds, but it did take like a cool two and a half. So, I, it's good to know there's consistency in life, you know? Also, I have a waffle, which I'm about to demolish, but not film because that would make me very unappetizing to all viewers. So, if you ever want an explanation of why I love my mother, my mother's sitting here with me scrolling through Pinterest and she holds up her screen and goes, Which little boy is more gay? I just iconic honestly that's a look mom <laughs> uh i would say the answer is uh fully the one on the left but i would follow up by saying the boulet brothers look really good in this picture <laughs> oh three people got that joke and they're all writing an angry comment and two of them are chloe <laughs> He just went out. He just went outside. I watched him take a shit on the neighbor's lawn. <laughs> Classic. Okay. See ya. Okay, have fun. Uh, we will. Did would it... she say stay out of danger or take a picture? She said take pictures. Okay, cool. My mom would say nothing. Oh this. wait, it's kind of thick. It's really thick. Whoa. She kind of thick. She's thick. I want to throw it. Wait, it's the thing where there's air under it. Throw it. Huh! Oh! You shattered more ice in the process. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna. I love doing oh, that! Okay. Yes! Yes! Do you wanna yes! Hear, do, you, do you wanna hear the worst thing that's ever happened to me? Wait, wait, this part has air under it. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like glass. I love it. Do you want to hear the worst that ever happened to be on ice? Yeah. So there's like this freak. That sounds like it's a story, but you're just setting it to ice skating. Oh, you know, like all those Disney movies were like, oh, genius idea on ice. Oh, genius. Go fuck my wife. It's the best thing I've ever heard. Anyways, so there's this freak in my house and I was going down there once and it was cold and Julie was there. And it's like really, really cold, middle of winter, and it like just snowed like a ton. And, um, Sorry, I just see this demon sun in the distance. Yeah, I really am. But like, it had just snowed like a lot, and so there's this giant section of... Oh wait, this is my second worst thing on ice. I'll get to the first one later, because it's really embarrassing. It's a lot more pathetic than this one. So, it was like, this entire section of the creek was like frozen over. So I was like... I was in like, 7th grade, so I was maybe like 80-ish pounds. So I was like, I'm gonna stay on it. And Julie was like, 
Maybe you shouldn't stand Did on Did you fall through? <laughs> the second time, my, the actual worst experience I've ever had on ice is so much more pathetic. Because I was at Hannah's house and she had like a pond in her front yard where she kept like fish from the fair. And it froze over. And I was messing with it. And I slipped standing up and my leg went through. <laughs> and there was so much water in there. My leg was so cold. And it was so embarrassing to walk into her house with one leg that was just like soaking wet. And she was like, oh my god, you fell through my pond. And I was like, I mean, she was so cold, dude. And it was so dumb. It was the worst thing ever. It was jeans, so you know, that never goes away. To build a fire was such a good short story. <laughs> I was so cold, dude. I was so cold. And then I had to drive home like that. I was like, man, like, it was my driving leg. This is a terrible bench. And this bunch of nanas fell on it. Bendy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the towers are the blinking red things in the distance. I want to punch it. But there's a spot you can stand where they line up perfectly. Question. And that is my favorite spot on Earth. Yeah, serious question. Can I punch it? No, there's a small fence around it because they're radioactive. <gasps> oh! If I there's, it, you I can take like... a photo posing with the radioactive sign, though. Question, if I punched it, do you think I would get like... Like, I'd become like the next Avenger? No, you'd probably just get cancer at 45. Aren't we all, though? Now I can hear running water. That's, that's stupid. All right, back. Do not crawl down there. You will die. You can't prove that. Yes, I can. I have video proof. Okay. With lighting. Get that good in here. I think the hardest part is actually just getting... No, you will fall to your death. This is a bad idea. Okay. There's a literally a place where you can stand on your area. It gives out and you fall, you hit your head and die. I think you're just a weenie. We left the trail because that place was spooky as shit. Ah, definitely. We could have died. Yeah, we could have died. Um, it was a good time. Um, and now we are here at a sandwich shop because we're going to annoy Rachel. If she's here. I hope she's here. It'd be stupid if she wasn't. Yeah. Drove all the way out here for nothing. It's so cool, dude. Oh, my hand was cold and I heated it up and then I scratched it and it just hurt a lot. You know, when your hands are numb and then as they reheat, they're like pain, 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 pain. Yeah, everything hurts. That was it. it just are you so dying? Bad. Yeah. I started ant flow today. Oh, fun. And what? Ant flow. The crimson wave. Shark week. <laughs> we could get food while we're here. I'm at six. And I haven't even turned my phone off. I was gonna use Eric's. His his shady um I can charge it. Do you want the rest of it? I yeah, can a like, little bit. pull it out. Oh, I will have a good idea for him. Who got you that? So what's it like under capitalism's thumb? Hey, I'm waiting for a job to call me that. I get to work with dogs, oh, dude. I'm really touching my nose today. For some reason it didn't occur to me that was new. Like, you sent me a picture with it, and I was just like, oh, she's wearing it for the first time in a while. No, Eric. I've never had It's it. new. Oh, I'm observant. I'm... It? It's been, like... Dumb. It's been, like, a week since I've been here, and the bathroom is still, like, going. Yeah. We sat... <laughs> we sat in your restaurant. For a full hour and bought nothing. <laughs> Thanks for the soda, though. You're welcome. Um, and we basically watched Rachel clothes. Which was cool. And probably made my coworkers think I'm weirder than I, they already do. You're like, pretty weird. They're like, these are her? I have a facade, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Oops. The masquerade is broken. Um, but. They're like, these are her friends? Yeah. But we hung out, and then Sydney was like, I gotta go home. And Meg was like, yo, you wanna hang out? So Rachel and I are currently headed over to Meg's house. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah! Um, if I don't film anything while I'm there, this serves as an outro, because, you know, I, I've been a little off the vlogger train, as of late. Um, so, thank you. That is all. Thanks for, I don't remember. Wait, that is all. I'll talk to you soon. I just know it has to be.